life was dull until you came I was breathless when we first met Couldn't keep my hands away I was speechless when we first met, yeah So as you know, I had to go live with my aunt for my coronavirus video update And I just wanted to show this is what the bathroom looks like And it's attached to the bedroom that you saw in the other video Okay, so jumping right in, I have to do a voiceover because my aunt is a doctor and she has to work from home due to coronavirus and her office is right next to the bathroom. But here I just start off with the Huggies Natural Care Baby Wipes and wipe my face clean. Um, I had already gotten out the shower and washed my face in the shower, but this is just typically what I do and I wash my hands before I start manipulating um, items on my face. And so, yeah. So the first two products my friend Chelsea hooked me up with at Sephora. I'll put her Instagram at right there. But so the first thing is the Sephora Matte um, Super Hydrating and Mattifying Moisturizer. And I like to mix it with my foundation, this NARS um, Natural radiant long wear foundation in the color i think it's macau i don't really know how to say that right but yes and i mix this with my moisturizer and with another foundation that chelsea also helped me find um this is the matte perfection foundation in the color ebony and i just like to mix these on my hands just to keep it warm um i like it to really go into my skin and my pores i don't really like the full coverage look i like it to look natural so this really keeps the foundation and moisturizer warm together and really goes onto my skin well for some reason i could not figure out how to screw on the cap but so i just pump it onto my hand the nars and then squeeze the sephora onto my hand and just mix it in and i make sure my hands are washed and clean before i put them on my face to prevent any breakouts and damaging as you can see i already have like scarring on my skin my skin scars super easily i don't ever have to touch my pimple if i get one just because it's there my skin scars um and because this is not super full coverage foundation it doesn't cover up my scars very well but that's what i like i want to seem true and authentic but having some protection on my face and just having something to even out my skin tone a little bit so both the foundations the nars and the sephora are actually pretty full coverage when you don't mix them with moisturizer so when i want to do a full glam, glam look i don't mix it but this is just my everyday when I don't want to have a full glam look. I mix it and make it into my very own tinted moisturizer. I like mixing the foundations because they both match my skin differently. I have red undertones and that really is hard to find in makeup. That is my exact shade of red. So mixing them together, I get that. So next, I take my palette from Sleek Makeup, the Face Forming Palette. Um, it's supposed to be matte, blending, contour powder, illuminating highlight, and shimmer blush. So I actually use the shimmer blush on my face as like a mix between a blush and a bronzer. And I'm just using it with the powder brush from Real Techniques by Sam and Nick line. And I'm just like applying it a little bit above where you would um, your contour and right about where blush goes. It's just dark enough for me that it works for both. And I like that it is shimmery. So right here, I'm using the Mariah Carey my Mimi Extra Dimension Skin Finish, which is like um, a bronzer as well that's super shimmery and light. So I kind of use it as more of a highlight. So it's going really high on my cheekbone. Now I'm 
using the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've had this palette for a while, so the packaging is fading. But I'm going to take that color bronze and just apply it right over the Mariah Carey bronzer just to add it some extra shimmer so I look very dewy. This next beauty product is the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the color Cinnamon. And I use this. This is originally supposed to be a highlight, but when she came out with the matte stick, she wanted everything to be diverse in use. And so I'm using this as my eyeshadow. Normally, I like to warm it up on the back of my palm, and I forgot to do that. So you can see um, me struggling a little bit to get that smooth, creamy lay on my eye. But this offers such a natural shimmer as well, so it's not like I'm going out in full glam makeup. It just looks very natural, but catches the eye in the light. So for eyeliner, I'm using the Sex Kitten Liquid Eyeliner by Tarte. I've had this also for forever, and the cap has a cute little kitten ears on it, but I like to just do a thin line over my eye lid like right at my lashes but that doesn't always work out now for my waterline on my under part of my eye i'm using the smashbox 3d i think and it's just in the regular color brown um and so i just want to put this right on my waterline sometimes this really tickles but luckily today when i did this it did not tickle so i was not awkwardly twitching my eye for my lashes i'm using the fab c's push-up drama by maybelline new york in the color s101 which is just like black this is regular like drugstore makeup that you can find but I normally use the Better Than Sex mascara, but I ran out and Sephora's closed, so this is my backup. For my brows, I like to use two products. The first is the Smashbox Brow Tech Matte Pencil and Brunette. I just like to use the spoolie from this for this part but i typically use this specific brow pencil on the beginning part of my brows like the inner part um but you'll see in just a second the second brow product i like to use is the nyx professional makeup precision brow pencil um and this is just in black i like to use it on the end and slanted so it's really nice to get that art going um and then when i want like a full deep brow look i just fill in my brow a lot more towards the end using this pencil i've been using this pencil for years it's my all-time fave for brows <laughs> y'all my pencil just broke in the middle of my eyebrow and that was the end of that pencil. The very end. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> so because my pencil broke and Sephora's closed, so I can't go get another one. Um, I'm literally just using the Smashbox pencil to do the insides of my brow, the beginning part. Um, that's just how I normally would do them, but I'm also using it on the outside just to try to finish up what was going on before. So I'm just taking the glow kit again um, in the color bronze and just putting it in the middle of my fan brush and just applying it right under my eyebrow for that under brow glow. I normally have a specific brow highlighting brush for this, but since I moved out of my dorm, I have lost it. Now onto my lips. I just like to keep it simple with original chapstick just to moisturize it. And I have big lips, so it takes like a lot of usage um, to get good coverage over my lips. And then I'm going to take your, your simple 
clear lips gloss in the rosehip oil this is a dollar from like your hair store and just apply that over the chapstick for a glossy finish so this is the finished look it's very natural very simple very quick not a full beat minimal coverage just something natural thanks for watching Bye.